Millions of years ago, on the vast, sun-baked plains of the African savanna, a primal struggle for survival unfolded daily. Here, Homo habilis, meaning handy man, roamed, a species that lived approximately 2.3 to 1.5 million years ago. These early members of the Homo genus possessed larger brains than their predecessors, yet retained ape-like features such as long arms and relatively short legs. Standing between 1 and 1.35 meters tall and weighing around 32 kilograms, they were well adapted to their environment. While direct evidence of clothing is scarce, visual storytelling suggests simple animal hide wraps, like those from kudu, zebra, gazelle, hyrax, and impala. These adornments, though simple, provided both protection and a sense of identity in their harsh world. The savanna itself, characterized by grasslands and scattered trees, was a vibrant ecosystem, much like the Serengeti of today. Homo habilis were likely scavengers, supplementing their diet with meat, a crucial source of energy for their active lives. Their ingenuity was evident in the creation of Olduin tools, simple yet effective instruments for survival. As they sprinted, a distant, blood-scented watering hole drew them forward, a promise of sustenance in the unforgiving landscape. Circling high above, vultures served as a grim indicator, their presence signaling a potential food source, a testament to the cycle of life and death. The urgent pace of their run, the rustle of hides, and the vastness of the savanna paint a vivid picture of their daily existence. This was the world of Homo habilis, a world of constant movement, keen senses, and an unwavering drive to survive. 